In these tropical mountains in Colombia, longtime coffee grower Nelson Moreno recently started planting cassava because he says he needed to use expensive chemicals to get a decent harvest of coffee. The weather has changed too much. It's hard to live with this heat. Nearby farmer Zoraida Mosquera agrees. She says hotter temperatures damage many harvests, including coffee. At the cooperative, they buy it as the lowest quality. Not far away, farmer Elias Claros Paz says higher temperatures are not the only problem. We used to plant tomato, but we stopped because of pests. In order to get a harvest, we have to spray seven and eight times with the most toxic chemicals. Scientists said the combination of higher temperatures and single crops over extended periods increases problems with pests. Eric Fernandez is an advisor on climate change at the World Bank in Washington. He says pests and the growing use of insecticides are not good for the land or for the water sources. Local observations suggest that as part of the extreme events, pests and invasive species are increasing. At the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, or CIAT, in Cali, scientist Andy Jarvis is in charge of the climate change and policy program. He says at CIAT, scientists are working on crop improvement, mostly through genetic modifications. For example, in, in beans, uh, beans are quite sensitive to heat and drought, and so there we've been looking at different scenarios of the types of genes that we can be putting into those crops so that they can adapt to the future, future challenges. But Eric Fernandez at the World Bank says not everybody likes genetically modified crops and other options must be considered. Just by management alone you could probably increase your adaptive capacity of that, of that crop several fold. Fernandez says creating shaded areas, crop rotation and maintaining the environmental balance could greatly mitigate the effects of climate change. Both Fernandez and Javis say increasing population represents the most serious challenge. The real issue is not if we can produce more food, but it's that we have to produce 50 to 70 percent more food to address po global population increase. And both say more needs to be done. I think the world needs to do more. I don't think it's doing enough for agriculture. I think agriculture needs to assume a much higher profile uh, in the discussions related to climate change. Just ta tackling forests or just tackling uh, global warming is not going to do it unless we bring together the agricultural dimensions uh, into that. Every year that we don't address the, the issue, the issue is getting bigger and more costly to address later. So the International Center for Tropical Agriculture also is conducting research in Africa and Asia and has begun a large multi-million dollar program to adapt global agriculture to climate change. From the mountains of Colombia, this is Sulima Palacio for VOA News.